Hello, hello and welcome. My name is Sin and in today's tutorial we're going to be having a look at storage buses from Applied Energy 6.2. I've set up a basic network here. If you'd like to see um, how to make this, um, I've done it in a previous tutorial, so have a look at that. But today we're going to crack on with the storage bus. So the storage bus allows us to access an inventory in the ME network. And what does that mean? So at the moment we have a terminal here. It has nothing in it, as we can see. And in this chest here we have a stack of coal and we want to access that coal through the network. So if I chuck a storage bus at the back of this chest, it could be on the top, the sides, or the bottom, this will now be available in that terminal. So now here we can see that we've got a stack of coal here, and if I jump out, we've actually removed it from the chest, and if I chuck it back in the chest, you can see it now comes back into the system. So it can be really helpful, and it allows you to store items outside of ME drives, um, essentially digitally stored. So in a physical form, in chests, drawers, and or any other sort of storage mod that interacts with Applied Energy 6 2. What I have set up here is I've set up some storage drawers and the reason I've set up storage drawers is because for me typically when I play through an expert pack or, or most packs in, in general uh, storage drawers is my first mod that I'll use for storage because it is cheap to set up um, while the draw controller can be more expensive um, if, they've, if they've changed recipes it's definitely cheaper than the Applied Energy 6 2 uh, setup costs. So how do we how can we connect to all these drawers well if we have a basic drawer we can literally just chuck one on the back and if we have a look in our me network we can now see that we have a stack of redstone also available in the system and we can also connect to a controller slave so this acts in the storage drawers uh, mod as just another receptacle so it allows you to access anything in the network so or anything in the storage drawers multi-block if you have a look here we can now access the apples there as well and finally we can also connect to the draw controller itself and I'm going to chuck it on the back there as well and we have a look at this now we can also see that wood and that gold in there and if we have a look at the storage bus itself we can see that there are a few options here there's a whole big area here um, to do things with and if we chuck a capacity card in here it gives us a few extra slots and you can see that if we had um, if we had all five capacity cards here, this would actually open up all of these available slots. And what these slots allow us to do is they allow us to say what do we want to be stored here, what should be go allowed to go into this storage bus. So if we hit this partition storage, this shows us it will change the partition, so it will show us what it, only, what it only stores and what it only allows to be stored. So here we've said we only want wood and gold going in there. Uh, we can clear that through the clear config and settings button and we can change if it's only going to be input or output or both so if we say extract only it means we can only extract items from it insert means we can only put items into that storage we can't actually take it out through this method in Python logistics and do we want to report inaccessible items no for me i've never turned this to yes but if there is a reason for you to use it feel free to now what I'm going to do here is I want to have a look at priority. So the priority means, um, I guess, what order should an inventory be accessed um, through the AE2 network? And this could be you know, default of zero, but we could say maybe a thousand. So a thousand would mean that you're, it's, this is going to be more likely to be accessed or higher up in the order to be accessed over another item or another component in the network. And for the moment, I'm going to leave this at a thousand. And I'm also going to change it to insert only, oh, sorry, extract only. Um, so that way I can only extract things from the network and I can't put anything back into here. So let's have a look at what that might look like. So we have a stack of wood in here. I'm going to take that wood out. I'm going to put that in my inventory. If we go over and have a look at the wood, we can see that there is now only half a stack there or 32 units. And then we can put that wood back in the system. So that now reads 64. I go back over to here, oh, there's only 32 though, but that's because some other inventory has allowed us to use, <laughs> has allowed us to be able to store another item. So as you can see here, the wood has gone into the chest because it's the next available inventory that can take it. And if we have a look here, let's say we make this priority 2000, I take this wood out, I'm going to change this to bi-directional, which is great put the wood back in there, so now we have a stack in here, I'm going to take that wood out again, place it on my inventory, and put it back. And again, it's going to come back into this chest. So 
essentially you can change the priorities of items I typically use a thousand above zero and if you need to go below zero you certainly can but if you start with a thousand and then you can use increments of a hundred you've always got a little bit of wiggle room so you can move by one unit or two units or however it works but for today this is the basics of how a storage bus works from Applied Energy 6 2 if you like this and you'd like to see more please feel free to subscribe and also hit that like button but as always have a good day see you now